Just to the right of the red eye tool, we have the healing brush tools. And there are two of these, the spot healing brush tool and the healing brush tool. The spot healing brush tool, you just kind of click on a spot and it does the heal for you. The healing brush, you can brush around and I'll demonstrate both of these here. We'll do the spot healing brush first. Now, it has three options. Proximity match. It's going to look for things close to what it is that you're fixing and grab from that. Create texture. It's going to try to create a matching or similar texture. Or content aware, which is usually your best option. You have a choice of brushes in here. Simply choose a brush you want to work with and a brush size. You can adjust your brush size right there. You can see the brush size right on the screen. Let me just bring this one up so you can see that. There, that's a bit large for our demo. There we go. If you have multiple layers, you can sample all your layers or not. That's up to you. Now, that's a great little tool. I'm going to zoom in here on the side of this horse. And let's just say I wanted to remove that spot right there. And this could be you know, a blemish on somebody's face, a spot on a wall you want to get rid of, you know, wherever it happens to be, you want to get rid of spots like this, it's a great tool. Okay, there we go, spot healing brush. And let's bring the size down just a little bit. There we go, I'm just, I'm just going to click on that spot. It thinks about it, and there you go, spot's gone. What it did was it looked at the areas around and grabbed that stuff and then blended that in. Do that one more time, right here. Take this spot out, just click, and there we go spot healed. So it's an amazing tool. It's very, very good at doing this kind of thing. Let's say you wanted to have a little more control over this or you were unsure about something like right here. You know, It may grab from down here or it may grab from up here. You know, you're not really sure what it's going to do if it's close to a border like this. So you may want to use the healing brush tool. In here, you're going to either sample an area or use a pattern. You have some modes in here, multiply screen, darken or lighten, which will give you different effects. And if the basic effect doesn't work, you can try the other ones and see what happens. Same thing, we have the brush tool size. Now in this case, it works a little bit differently. I'm going to hold the Alt key down. You see I got this little crosshair thing. I'm going to choose a spot right there and click. That sets my clone sampled spot. So I can now move up here. You can see it's actually grabbing that spot. You can see it right there. It grabs that and pulls that up here. I can then click in from that spot. And it's copying from down here, moving it up to here, and then blending it in. So if you have one of these instances where you're you know, up against a change in texture like this, and you don't want to grab from both sides, it could mess things up. You want to have a little more control of it. Then this is the one to use. You can already kind of see that sampled spot in there. Say I want to get rid of this bit here. I want to grab from up here. Do the same thing. I'll hold the Alt key down and I'll grab my sample from spot. Let's say maybe right there. And I'll click. That sets that. You can see there. there is that sampled bit on that brush. I can now pull that over until it looks good and then click and it samples that into that location and then it blends it in. So you have more control with the healing brush. With this brush you also can't actually paint like that. It's going to just copy and then blend those in as well. So it's better for larger or irregular shapes as well. So there they are, the spot healing brush and the healing brush tool. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.